Hey guys. <coughs> hey guys, uh, welcome back. Today we're gonna be talking about uh, how uh, we can display activity indicator uh, with a uh, you know stop and start. We just simulated with button, but uh, you can do it in during your program uh, in uh, our. Swift or iOS app. Okay, let's start our project. Uh, also, before that, I'll show you uh, what would be our uh, output. So you will see this uh, indicator, activity indicator. When we start, it's gonna start it, and when we stop, it's gonna stop it. Also, a little bit uh, alpha gonna go. Uh, even you can this this uh, you know disappear it or you know make alpha zero okay uh, so let's start our uh, project so I'm gonna close this because I'm gonna overwrite it so yeah here you go I say file new project this time single view app and I name it iOS Swift Activity in Decatur. Yes, uh, in this directory, yes, I'm gonna replace it for you. And uh, yeah, we will go to main storyboard. You know, in our main storyboard, we need uh, one button here. That will be our start, and another button that will be our stop. Start, stop. Also, I give them a little bit of uh, light background color, light blue, and this one, for example, light green. Okay, also uh, we need one indicator here. So, as you type activity, it will come here and you can drag it and put it here. Uh, there you go, I'll leave it here. Then we need to connect these uh, guys to our uh, controller. So I click on assistant uh, editor and uh, you, can, you can go by this screen or this one. I'll go this time by this. So from here I just uh, control drag and I say active in, let, let me write it completely. Active indicator you also uh, for uh, these two buttons I'm gonna add two functions so I say action I name it start act and for stop I name it stop act oh shoot uh, again I forgot so to can make it actions so I cut this one also I need to come here and uh, remove this so now I can again control drag it here this one actions so I say stop stop right. okay so uh, I can close uh, this assistant. I'll go to my view controller and in the view controller. Uh, I don't need this function for now. And uh, okay, so inside my view did load. I just say, okay, my activity indicator view dot alpha equal zero. This means that disappeared at the beginning. Then activity control view dot size to fit. This one I tried to change size but uh, so far I couldn't so even you don't need this. 
and uh, okay and uh, let's go and start and stop it pretty easy just say activity indicator view dot alpha equal then we can give it alpha for example this one one point zero yeah and uh, after alpha you say activity is in uh, you know indicator view dot start animating and for stop i'm gonna make alpha nah, not zero but very less so i say okay equal 0 0.2 and uh, activity integrated view dot stop animate that's it so uh, let's uh, run our project and see what would be our output and uh, uh, you know we can play with uh, you know uh, it's pretty easy and uh, straightforward but you can play with alpha or uh, you know stop and stop or other uh, you know offers that you will get when you type activity indicator dot okay uh, so this is a blank uh, screen which is uh, this launch screen okay as soon as I say start you will see this starting and stop it's gonna stop it start stuff okay that's it uh, for today i hope you like the video so give it thumbs up and uh, don't forget for subscribe and uh, for other videos are coming every day uh, any question in comment please and uh, you can find source file of this tutorial in comments as well i wish the best for you and have a good one bye bye